GoDaddy is world's largest platform for small businesses and entrepreneurs. And what we do is we empower everyday entrepreneurs. Uh, we help your ideas come online. So when you think of something you want to start in life, uh, uh, you find a domain name. And we come into the picture to say how you're going to call your business, which is the most important and first step. And once you've identified that and secured that, uh, we help you grow that business. So that's really bringing your idea to some real uh, life and some real tangible uh, way for people to discover you and then help you thrive through uh, different products like uh, you know emails and communication tools and social media tools and so on uh, today godaddy worldwide we have 19 million customers uh, india we uh, are over a million customers uh, we are the leading uh, market share player uh, and we have doubled our business in the last three years yeah so you know we, we started our journey about six years back in india and you know, the first thing we did was that we knew we had the products, right? Domain is a domain, but the customer behavior to uh, understand and adopt a product was our first step. And what we did was we started with a customer care center, about 40 people. And the intent was these 40 people would talk to, you know, prospective customers all day long uh, to really understand how the behavior, the pattern, uh, the purchase uh, attributes, which, you know, which go into a consumer's head are different. Uh, and as you very well know, you know, India is not even one country, right? There's South, there's East, there's yeah. West, there's North, and everybody thinks differently. So through a direct communication with customers, rather than doing like secondary research, yeah. you know, we, we, we today, for example, interact with almost three customers every minute, yeah. right? So the channel to talk to customer was our first big anchor. And once we learned, you know, what does a customer need? You know, they need awareness of what the product does for them. Uh, they need um, affordability. You know, how much does it cost? Can I afford it? Uh, and then really uh, the accessibility to a good customer care. Uh, and we pride ourselves, and you asked the differentiator, right? The biggest differentiator we have is uh, our customer experience. Yeah. You know, we are available to our customers 24 by 7, uh, no matter what price point you got the product for. And a lot of time it's not about a technical thing but some educative thing right that they want to try something new they want to build something they bought a dot com and they want to buy a dot in how do should i name my business and so on right so that customer experience being available when they want uh, was a big differentiator for us yeah so first uh, you know as i was sharing earlier india is a diverse country so we really went uh, regional language focused so when we are trying to communicate to our customers, hey, what does a domain do for you? What does a website do for you? Why should you have a professional email? We designed marketing campaigns in multiple languages. You know, so uh, today, you know, as customer in Kerala or, or Karnataka would want to hear that message in their own language. And nuances of communication are very different than a customer in Punjab or Haryana. So we have run marketing campaigns in over seven languages. Uh, so that's one. Second, we had a very integrated marketing campaign approach. So we, uh, you know, we looked at TV, we looked at radio, we looked at print, we looked at on the ground events, um, we look at social channels. Um, you know, so basically spreading that awareness yeah. through multiple channels than one channel and third i think uh, you know we've used uh, you kind of mentioned dhoni but broadly we've used both uh, sports channels uh, or sports platform uh, quite effectively like globally uh, and i think we believe that you know everybody has a passion about certain sport uh, and people connect with messages more um, more i would say strongly when it's when you, you're in their passion right so for example we sponsored running events and if you're a runner and you're like reading something you know it connects to you more so i think you know all the way from running to football to formula one to cricket you know we've really done that well and uh, also we use um, a, a channel called web developers right today when you want to start a website you will likely go to a web developer yeah. uh, so we've developed yeah, today, that's why i came to you it becomes so easy right you know, that uh, you know, I was totally unaware of anything of these things. Today, I can myself build a website. Yeah, yeah. So you know, so, so, know. so yeah. So it, it, it's it's you know simplifying the product and yeah. you know experience and you know how do you uh, a lot of time what used to happen was people buy a domain and then it becomes inactive. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so we're trying to say how do we activate a domain right away because the next intent is a website and you know how do we kind of get that going Posting also comes yes of course website. you know when you do and, and within different plans right because not every plan is for everybody uh, somebody wants a starter somebody wants an advance so how do we come up with flexible products and flexible pricing
and and we also use influencers a lot, right? We, we believe, uh, especially in smaller towns, right? Tier two, tier three markets are a big focus now. Yeah, because it's amazingly growing. I have been seeing some of our research reports that tier two, tier three <coughs> towns are growing really yeah, fast. Yeah, I mean, next two hundred million internet yeah. users are coming from those parts of the world, uh, mm -hmm. country, right? So and how do you target that? So we've, uh, you know, we've we've. Uh, identified very uh, local influencers because you know for every local region there is somebody who they go to right I mean they are web developers especially uh, because I not only need to uh, buy a product I need to understand what product I need somebody to educate so we're building a whole uh, channel around web developers right we have a program called GoDaddy Pro program where we offer uh, these programs to web developers to you know service their clients which is the end customer so they become basically our trainers and they become our so-called resellers uh, and we incentivize them and you know also make it in, interesting for them to be a win-win uh, and and that you know helps us go reach uh, deep into the entry second is mobile you know we're using mobile a lot as you know 90 percent of um, internet users today is from mobile so how do we got how do we get our message out there so you know last year we did this uh, uh, experiment with uh, with an app called Hello English, which is basically teaches people to speak English, uh, but in tier two towns. And everybody wants to be an entrepreneur there, but doesn't know English. So the first thing they do is learn English. And we have built educational content around, hey, while you're learning English, do you know how to start a business and what does online presence mean? So here's what domain is, here's website. And so we are not trying to change the behavior, but be in the behavior which is already existing, which is like, okay, people are using apps to learn English. People are using mobile phones to you know be educated. Uh, we do trainings, kind of workshops all over the country. Uh, and very soon, you know, we're in the process of launching an academy, uh, which will be educating people on what does digitization mean? What, what does online presence mean, right? Because today there's this, confusion of some if you ask somebody they may say it's Facebook and you ask somebody it may say website and somebody may say Instagram and yeah. you know we always say uh, website is your own property uh, everything else is a tool Absolutely. you know which where you don't own the content your website is where you own the content <laughs>